Today we're taking a tour of the community of Beacon Hill in Irvine. This community is one of Irvine's newest and best. So if you're interested in living in Irvine and you want a great community that's affordable, you're gonna to want to come on our tour with us today. So we start our tour here at the Beacon Hill School. I don't say elementary school because it's a K through eight. They actually have a transitional kindergarten all the way to eighth grade. This school was built about five years ago in 2000, opened in 2017, 2018 school year. It was built in 2016 and it was built to the state of the art standards at the time for multimedia. So we're right here at the entrance. So if you have school age kids, K through eight, you want to live in a great community that has world-class schools. Here we are at the school you're going to come to every school day during the school year. And it's Beacon Hill. Here's the entrance. So that's what the school looks like. So about a thousand students attend this school. iPads, Chromebooks are issued to all the students here. and. Uh, if you want your kids to get a good education, this is it without going to private school. Uh, so come on the rest of our tour with us. So we're looking at some of the homes that sold in the community. We're still at the school, but right across the street from the school on Paramount is 172 Paramount, which sold April 22nd this year, 2022. That's right behind me here over my shoulder. 172 Paramount. This house sold April 22nd, 2022 for 1,300,000 and it took 35 days to sell. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath, 2134 square feet. Sold in 2000, uh, originally built in 2015. So a fairly new house. Um, but just to give you an idea, of what the neighborhood looks like and this house specifically let's walk across the street very quiet neighborhood so there it is but uh look how look at the street very quiet well maintained highly recommend it so they've got a lot of other units attached to this one it's like 174 is right over here and then uh, 176 right there so nice community uh, a little bit close for my liking but uh, this is what you get in Irvine you got to have some sacrifices to have world-class schools and one of those sacrifices is the homes are going to be fairly close together. I'm going to walk to the to the back to show you what the parking situation is like. It's a, a kind of a park environment in front, but in back we've got uh, the garages. And uh, if you're going to buy in this community, you're going to want to know what the garages look like. So we're going to go back there. So here's the front. Right over there is the school. And then right over here, all the garages. One of these is uh, the garage behind the uh, condo, um, 172 Paramount. So, uh, looks like all two car attached garages. They've got vents coming out above the uh, sconces on the wall. Very quiet. There's some of the uh, classrooms at the school. And of course, we always have to talk about the mailbox situations. So again, you've got um, shared mailboxes, which makes it very efficient for the post office. So uh, 
you've got your mailboxes here. Um, when you get parcels, they go in the big area right here. So, yeah, very efficient for the post office, even though they keep raising the cost of postage. All right, we have some serious traffic going by here. <laughs> One car. Um, it's pretty quiet here. I want you to hear what it sounds like on a typical, typical corner. We're on the corner of Beacon and Paramount. We're uh, right across from the uh, back of the school where there's a playground and some basketball courts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at uh, a house that recently sold um, for $3 million. I know it's not in everyone's price range, but uh, it gives you a good idea of you know, what's available. So the first one, $1,300,000, which is actually affordable for this area. Um, this one's $3,150,000. Uh, it's 20 or 4,600 square feet, so double the size of the last one, more than double the size, built in 2017. So about the same time the school was built, this, uh, this next house we're going to go look at was built. Um, HOA dues for the small one and for the big one we're going to go look at, $215 a month. Um, this one, it's 119 Cruiser in Irvine, sold in uh, March this year so two months ago and um, it's a big house so let's see what you get for two million dollars more <laughs> than the last one uh, so let's go take a look so we're right next to the house 119 cruiser here's a class of 2022 eighth grader from Beacon Hill that graduated give you nice nice signs that's that celebrate your graduation but uh, you get a lot more um, for two million dollars so this is 121 this is the neighbor and this is the one sold for three million one hundred fifty thousand it's a 119 cruiser and you get a driveway two-car garage in front single door but yeah very nice house um, again, you know, it is Irvine, so you don't have a lot of space between the homes. Uh, not too much of a backyard, but uh, a lot of square footage in the house. And the main reason for that is homes are sold by square footage. So, obviously, builders want to maximize the square footage in the house so they can get more for the home. But to get an idea of the street, here's the street, what it looks like. Parking on both sides. No issue at all with parking. So, yeah, really nice community. But what would you expect for $3 million? And uh, very close to the school, but not close enough where the traffic affects you negatively. So, uh, yeah, really nice community. Now, if you're considering buying here in Irvine, I'm a great realtor. I've been working in Orange County, South Orange County, for the last 20 years so I've seen a lot I've seen the ups I've seen the downs and I could help you find your next house here in Irvine the, the last homes we're gonna look at today are the most affordable and by far the best value now these are condos and they sold for less than a million dollars and there's a cluster of them that sold recently that will give you a good idea of uh, what you get for, I'd say, on the low end, eight fifty, and then on the high end, you know, just over a million. But just over my shoulder here are the ones that we're going to look at. This is what they look like. So it's a large, uh, looks like very vertical uh, building, three stories. Uh, each one has a patio. And uh, almost all of them are selling for less than a million. But four units, one, two, three, four. And then there's an end unit, two end units. So you definitely want to be one of the end ones because you get a tremendous amount of additional light that comes in. The middle ones, uh, definitely less attractive, but uh, probably sold for less money too. 
So uh, we'll go look at a few of these so you get an idea of the affordable part of Irvine and what you get for your money. So we're in front of some of the units right now. So very well-kept sidewalk, very open. Uh-oh. <laughs> Almost got attacked there. Whew, close call. So these are very affordable. We're on uh, Fixie right now. And we're looking for unit number uh, 139, which sold for 940000 There's 135. Garage on the bottom, living quarters on the top and in the front. In the front you have like a... A nice, uh, oh, here it is. Just passed it. So this is 139 Fixie. We're in the back. So you have the uh, large patio, which the end units don't have. So you got a two-car garage on the bottom. No driveway. But affordable. So less than a million dollars in Irvine these days is really good. So let's go look at the front. 37 right here. This is the end unit we saw without the patio. That was a good idea to put that big balcony there because uh, for the middle unit it compensates maybe for not having a uh, end unit with all the extra windows and light. I still take the end unit personally, but there's the front. Got a nice little front courtyard. And then here's the sidewalk between units. So uh, let me just give you some details on the place. So like I said, sold for 940,000. And um, three bedroom, two bath, 1738 square feet. So really nice uh, size. Very comfortable size for most people has a two-car attached garage, which is very convenient for a lot of people. The ideal rental property, really, is you got an HOA, takes care of all the landscaping. And uh, 1,700 square feet is uh, you know, a good size for a lot of people. Um, renters can't really mess it up that easily. So, but this gives you a good idea of the uh, whole neighborhood of Beacon Hill from the elementary school all the way to um, different price ranges of what you get. So if you're considering buying in Irvine and you want to make Ir Beacon Hill your next home, call Grant, 949-354-4464. He'll get you exactly what you're looking for. So we're here at Beacon Hill Park. Very nice park. I want to show you what it has to offer which is, uh, I'll just tell you real quick, there's swings, there's a uh, full obstacle course that leads to the uh, well-acquainted, or well-pointed pool area with barbecues. There's a patio there for people to hang out on while they um, watch their kids at the pool. It's really nice. So uh, let's go take a look. So here's the swings. There's like a little treehouse area where kids could climb up. Here's a little obstacle course with ropes and a hill for them to climb on. More obstacles. More obstacles. More uh, like a rope sculpture thing. And they have like a little like uh, arrows pointing to the different uh, amenities here. And then it all leads down to the pool area with a patio out front where the kids can uh, hang out or parents can hang out there. Oops. Let's go down to the side here so you can see. Now, you don't want to 
be too obtrusive, but uh, I want you to see what it looks like from afar.